Hey everybody, Dr. Diane, founder of My Lyme Doc here, and in this video we're gonna talk about normal tick bite versus Lyme tick bites. And the biggest thing to really understand is a couple different things. Ticks will deliver to us when they bite us everything that they have in their bloodstream. So sometimes they have Lyme disease, sometimes they have other microorganisms. Whatever they have, they will basically share with you. So one of the best things to do is if you get bitten by a tick, is to save the tick, is to send it into one of the tick evaluating clinics like Technology, for example, which will actually evaluate and tell you when you submit the tick to them, they will tell you what the tick is carrying. So then you have a sense of what could have been transmitted because now you know what was in the tick's bloodstream. Many ticks are going to be fairly benign and won't cause a lot of problems, but there are some ticks that will cause major problems and Lyme disease is not the only one of them. There's other types of parasites, bacteria, even viruses that can be transmitted with tick bites. The other thing to understand is there's very limited studies, so we need more research here, but there's a very limited amount of research that's looking to, to say that we can perhaps get Lyme disease, which is caused by a bacteria Borrelia, that we can get it in mosquitoes and maybe even from fleas. So we wanna make sure that we're considering that it's not just ticks we're really concerned about, and that if, there, if you have symptoms of chronic Lyme, which are basically, just almost anything. So if you have symptoms of chronic Lyme, oftentimes it's headaches, it's pain of all types, fibro, chronic myalgia, or chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, dementia, brain fog, neurological issues, POTS, dysautonomia, depersonalization, light and sound sensitivity, insomnia, tons and tons and tons, right? I, I sound like a drug commercial now. So basically the idea with that though, and the why I'm listing things like that is because I want you to begin to think Lyme is the great mimicker. So if you've done a lot of standard testing for things that you already have looked into, you know, thyroid health and adrenal health, and nothing's explaining your symptoms, you might wanna get tested and thoroughly tested. Look for information on this channel of how to thoroughly test, but you want, might wanna get thoroughly tested for Lyme because it can oftentimes be hidden sources of Lyme that are really causing a lot of the problems that we see occurring when people don't understand why, right? When you can't figure out the root. But for the purpose of this video, really it's like you wanna get away from thinking about the rash, right? So online you'll read about the bullseye rash. The bullseye rash is a target lesion looking rash that can occur when you get bitten by a tick or an insect that contains Lyme. But right now it looks like in research we're seeing that maybe it's as low as a third of people actually get that rash. So we gotta be very careful because we can't just say, oh, no rash, no Lyme, right? You really wanna get tested. If you threw a tick away, no worries. You wanna get proper Lyme tested. I recommend a company called Vibrant Wellness to do this. You'll see information about them on my website. So hopefully this is helping orient you to how to think about ticks, how to think about Lyme disease. Don't just focus on that rash. And if you like this information, please do subscribe to the channel. You'll see information about my health clinic in the show notes. Again, I'm Dr. Diane. Till next time.